I just feel like you, abs- Kish, you absorb so much street culture, subculture. You, you, you inherently pit people to the post, which is fine. It's involving and immersing yourself in all aspects of culture. Mm. That's what it comes down to. Be it the art, mm. be it the music, be it the football, mm. be it skating, mm. whatever you're into. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? The food, the clothes, mm. the kicks. Everything, comics, the whole nine. The killer killer podcast. Killer killer official com. <laughs> you need the television app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top five, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the app store for free today. Beatbox created. Talk about world music and street culture. Killer Cowboy Podcast. You should have a little plaque there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Boss or something. Yeah. <laughs> top dog. Yeah, top dog. Yeah, big team. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast live and direct central London or central as you need to be, could be, want to be, desire to be. Yeah. Central London and Central need to be, that's what it is. And a uh, big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk. Hold tight, everyone that's got a television app. Hey, listen, I'll say it before I say it again. It's the only place you need to be for your street culture, the medicine you need in your weeklies. Um, inside the place, we have a dear, dear friend of mine. I'm arguing from the inception of me starting in, in music and the walk of hip-hop. This man has been alongside conduit, partner, friend, and, uh, yeah, ever supportive of his shit I do. But not only that, he's a sneak freak. He's a fashion specialist. Yeah. He's a man that knows his records. Soho Radio. Do Let me introduce you to Kish inside the place. Yes, yes. How was that? Yeah, I think that was pretty wicked. Really hard to put Television in. app. Yeah. I didn't get that memo. <laughs> <laughs> That's a look. Congratulations. Of, thank you, brother. Full yeah, of surprises. Man. Try it. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. Full yeah. of surprises. Every time I jump on your Instagram, man, you it's like a, a dose of, of fashion. It's fashion jewels. The, 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 the I might have offerings. to take that. Can I take that? The jewels, jewels. Strictly the jewels. Yeah. You give, it, you, you, you give as good as you get. Every time you get something, you mm-hmm. pump it, you show people yeah. it. That's the yeah. deal, isn't it? Well, of course. I mean, at the end of the day, it's about representing. It's making sure that people are doing great things, mm. you know, uh, being, you know, get the props, mm. they get the deserved, you know, the deserved acclaim, mm. you know, making sure people, you know, know what's up. You know? mm. It's all about information. Mm-hmm. It's all about making sure that people know and people get their props. You've got to give their flowers. Flowers. As says. You know what I mean. You know? I'm going to jump straight into something which is unprecedented. But talking of flowers, mm. I want to get straight into the subject of you, with you of Dar's Effects. Ooh. For those of you who don't know who Dar's Effects is, Google that shit, and how they, as a, as a group, mm-hmm. as a rap group in mm-hmm. the 90s, mm-hmm. spawned the new culture of Timberlands, mm. of baggy slacks, mm-hmm. army fatigue, mm-hmm. um, with baseball caps and a bit of ragamuffin mm-hmm. to go with it, mm-hmm. straight up suicide, yeah. which then transcended into pop culture, yeah. transcended into E17, yeah. <laughs> All Saints, <laughs> Do you mean like yeah, the yeah, levels yeah. are mad? But you know what's mad? The whole Timberland thing, right? The first guy that I saw wearing a pair of Timberland 40 Belows hmm. was um, was uh, Chris Lighty, may he rest in peace, the head Ooh, of Violator, yeah. right? Okay, legend in the game. Okay, for those who don't <gasps> know. Who, you know, Chris Lighty, you really got to know about that. You know what I mean? Comment below, um, Google that shit. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, right? Headed up Violator, Violator management and all that kind of stuff. Had Notorious so many Violator. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, right? Uh, you know, came out of the herd, you know, hence the name Violators and, you know, you know, Generally messing stuff up. But he wore on the the back cover of the Jungle Brothers, What You Waiting For, he had the 40 Belows that you know, we attribute to Das FX, right? So he had those. And I was always going, what are those? Because the thing is, the Timberlands that we could get in this country, if you could find them, mm-hmm. they were a six-inch wheat boot. Right, it was just a long front as well. And shit yeah, like that. yeah, 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 yeah. Right, do you know what I mean? So, and it was like that, that crazy thing. And back then, the, the price of Timberlands, you know, time, mm. Timberlands have generally stayed pretty much similar in, in in relative terms. Maybe even cheaper now than they were back then. You reckon, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. You give or take inflation and all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, he was the first one to saw that wore those. But then, when you look at the Ultra Magnetic, right, Funk Your Head Up album cover. Okay. Right. <gasps> okay. Seji, Tr Love, and Mo Love are wearing forty belows. Right. Okay, 
And Cool Keith is wearing another pair of Timberlands. Now I have those Timberlands that Cool Keith is wearing, right? I don't know what the, the name is, right? But it was it was, Damn, a, it was a mad son. one when I found those on a trip to New York um, in '94. Wow. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, still boxed. Uh, no, no, I wore them, and I don't know where they are. I haven't thrown anything away. I don't know what condition they're in, but I can't they're still there. Throwing anything away? No, no, no. no, no. Uh, Archive business. You yeah, know yeah. What I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, it's funny that you should say that. Now, also, when you look at the um, the Showbiz and AG Fat Pockets video, right? You see AG and I think Show wearing M65 jackets. Jackets, right, mm. right, yeah, the big army ones like that, yeah. Bad boom. Awesome. But Das Effects were the ones who put all those elements together and made it slightly, you know, swaggy. Do you know what I mean? Swaggy, mm. yeah. Right. The the Timberlands, they they they're well rendered after years. Like nowadays, mm. I think they they do start getting a bit of. Yeah, but the yeah. original ones oh. of the night, they just hold. Yeah. yeah, yeah. there's some classic styles, you know what I mean? Yeah. All the way up to the World Hikers, uh, which you've got, and a few other ones as well. You know, um, the, the the Dieter Rods, all that kind of stuff, you yeah. know what I mean? You're talking about, you know, top line business and Timberland was at the apex of the footwear business. Yeah. Mad thing is though, I think Timberland only came into inception from the Abington Footwear Company in as a brand, as a sub-brand, I think in 1973. Yeah? I think so, yeah, which is crazy. But yeah, Abington, you know, the the, sh the shoes and the boots, et cetera, you know, as a, as a company, been, yeah. you know, going way, way back. So what right? class would you put, class as in like Adidas were notoriously known alongside Run DMC, mm. but that was because of the time mm -hmm. Run D um, Adidas weren't, and I don't think this is because Run DMC wore them, of course, but mm. they were they were more the working class sneaker mm. and Run DMC fuck, funked them up, made yeah, them yeah, fucking yeah. sick. Yeah, but you know what it is? Run DMC were taking their style from the D-Boys, right? And you've got to remember, JM, Jam Master J, rest in peace. You know, he was always a bit on that, mm. that side of things as well, mm -hmm. which sadly caught up with him. But the thing is, is that the reason why Run DMC wore their shell toes without laces is because in prison, you don't have laces in your shoes in case you try <gasps> to hang yourself or do some crazy stuff. Do you know what I mean, right? So the shoes in the prisons in America or in New York, say, you know... Um, they didn't wear. They didn't wear. Didn't have shoelaces. That's crazy. Yeah, and and then they and then I think what happened is when people came out of the pen, they still had that sort of conditioning within mm. them, and they were wearing their institutionalized shoes. a bit. Yeah, yeah, sort of brainwashed kind of styles. Mm. You know what I mean? So, and, and that's why they wore their shoes unlaced. And then that was a thing that you know Run DMC took from you know, and they, yeah. like, and they, they, they brought it there. You know, uh -huh. the double goose jackets that you see Run DMC wearing mm. like that. Yeah. Okay. It's because the drug dealers had them. The thing is, when you look at any of the style trends that are going on, mm. it's the guys with the money, you know, to mm. flush, shall we say, yeah. to like wash, mm. you know, um, that set the trends. Yeah. You know, when you're looking at, say, why the Adidas Forum, for example, in 1984, the most expensive basketball shoe at that time and the yeah. most technologically advanced basketball shoe, so much so that Michael Jordan was wearing that shoe in his final career of college and was going to sign to Adidas before the whole deal. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to you about it in a sec. Yeah, broke down, right? The, the dudes who were wearing those shoes were the drug dealers. So in Boston, for example, in the Boston drug dealers, they were wearing Adidas Forums because they're like a $120 shoe in 84. <laughs> Crazy. Because they got money. Yes, they're exactly. In. When you look at like New Balance in, uh, in Delaware and in Washington and, and that sort of area, right? It's because of the money. Mm. New Balance are the top line sneakers mm. and that's why they were wearing them. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, a, it's a crazy thing. And you know? um, Slacks. Baggy slacks falling down mm. towards the bottom of your ass. I guess that's because in jail they don't have belts. Man, it's weird, isn't it? You can't take the jungle out of cat, as Jerry once yeah. said. Hey, <laughs> sure. that's a wicked, that's a wicked that's lyric, true, my dude. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you, you can't expect people to once institutionalised. Mm. That's that will leak into yeah. even if they had the biggest amount of money. Exactly, exactly. And it, it, it makes it cool. Yeah. That's right. Do you know what I mean? I mean, when you look at things over here, right? Okay, the advent of garage, right? Mm. The Air Max Plus, for example, right? I was always wearing, already wearing yeah, yeah, Air, yeah, yeah. Air, Air Max Plus. You garage know, was like kind of, they were all about like that. Yeah, and they're all blinged out, and they're wearing Versace mm. and all this kind of stuff, and boom, boom, boom. Mm. It's because, like, you know, what? How did they get to where they got to? Do you True. know what I mean? Right? Well, you think and it was drug dealer based? They have to. They they want to wear the most expensive stuff, mm. and of course they do. You know, all the dudes that I grew up with back home in Ellsbury, mm. you know, mm. they always had the the the, the money, and they always were the top things. You know, that's what it came down to. Even if they weren't on the hip hop flex and they started going on the housey tip and they were wearing Patrick Cox loafers and all that kind of stuff, mm. not my look at all mm. ever. But mm. that was money, mm. right? Ted Baker shirts, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Money, yeah, yeah. YSL shirts, you know what I mean? Polo shirts, you know what I mean? All that kind of stuff. Right? I'll type the polo crew. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? um, but yeah, I mean, that's what it came down to. Do you think a lot of people 
back in the day, oh, this is this is this is a social question mm-hmm. as much as a as a creative one. Mm-hmm. Do you think a lot of people that were in the rap genres of the time would wear the things they wear as a uh, a, a nod to their their um, the, the the mystique of them being like slightly underground and mm-hmm. edgy and street, or do you think it was to a pander to the the people that were you know to to, to Okay, put it this way, right? I mean, if you're, you're making watch, sense. If you're watching your football team, right? right you're not wearing the other team's colours, are you? True. Right? Mm. So if you're on the street, even if you aren't up to naughty things, or if you're affiliated with them, you're going to all dress the same. Or, mm. you know, it, or be influencing, influencing each other. Mm. You know, that's mm. what it comes down to. Mm. So I don't think it's an aspiration of trying to be like that because of that. I think it's like, yeah, I think that's a cool look and, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with it. And that becomes you know? our, our look. Yeah, exactly. Signifying what we are. Yeah. But then adds its own twist to it as well, mm. you know. But I mean, the yeah. thing is, right? Hip hop, you know, it's that, you know, it sort of adds that twist, you mm. know, especially in this country as well, with mm. the influences that we've had when we were growing up. Um, you know, hip hop was like, you know, so sort of like uh, intertwined, as it were, with you know the two tone culture with um, reggae, mm. you know, with the punk movement and all that kind of stuff in the seventies yeah. and permeating through into the eighties. You know, yeah. Malcolm McLaren, obviously, we give it Big up to time, him because he put a lot of people Gotta give on the flowers out, right? Exactly, you know, and he he really mm. took it there, and that whole thing and how we reinterpret things. Mm. It's very very interesting. It is, isn't it? Yeah, and I guess that's what I was coming to with Dars Effects mm. and it's and their influence and their impression that they made, and mm. I think that kind of correlates with what you're saying there is like hip-hop has become this ever-evolving thing we often forget to, to mention hip-hop mm. in subjects mm. because the the, the 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 header on the letter is different yeah it's grime yeah. it's drill yeah. it's drum and bass yeah. it's gra- that's but, right but the remix with the feature of the rapper that mm-hmm. comes from hip-hop mm-hmm. the remix itself you could argue that you know when ron g's mixing an acapella with an instrumental the DJ, the mixer, the, the yeah, 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 but everything. yo, that, that that comes even before then, though. Do you mm. know what I mean? Yeah, mm. the whole acapella over new yeah. thing. You know what I mean? I think Cash Money might have done it, um, or Jazzy Jeff even. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, maybe DJ Cheese even did mm. it. I don't know. Do you mm. know what I mean? Mm. Because uh, um, you know they're, they're far more informed. You know, people on that mm. side of things. Right. I think we should ask uh, DJ Prime Cuts for example, yes, exactly. or DJ Tony Vegas. Comment below, Mr. Yes, Cuts. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So you know, maybe you know they'll they'll know more about that side of things. But that's where that stands. But yeah, Ron mm. G shout that. You know, Kid Capri shout him out oh, as yeah. well. Without Kid Capri. Oh my. He was the guy who invented the mix. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Essentially, yeah. 62 beats is the mixtape. I would put it on even now and be like, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Just the, you know what I mean? laid up with the, the DNA. Capri. Yeah, yeah, with the echo yeah. phasey oh, shit. Oh, mate, Ooh. seriously, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. there's a lot of things that I think, um, you know, tipping hat off to where we're at now in the world mm. and how, mm. yeah, we'll like, get that MC featured with that MC with that mm. thing, you know what I mean? I know this was there's a lot of reggae influences going on mm. in it as well, but fashion especially, yeah. like it's like the things we grew up with where mm. maybe at our school mm. we used to get ribbed for. Yeah. We were actually all of a sudden ahead of the curve. That's right, exactly it, you know what I mean? <laughs> the thing is the pioneers always get ripped, you know, because yeah. no one has the vision to understand what's going on at the time. Mm. I mean, when Steve Jobs came out with the iPad, mm. right, genius, mm. we don't need that. Yeah, but we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We couldn't even think that you needed something like that. I, was, and, I must yo, admit, I was that guy as well. I was like, what? Yeah, I know, I was the same. Mm. And the thing is, oh, no, iPad, great, yeah. great idea. It's like great a, invention. It's a notepad, mm. essentially. Yeah, exactly. It's like a, it's like a mini computer. It's mm. like exactly what you'd see on Star Trek, you know, when we were growing up before that thing yeah. even existed, you know? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. sometimes technology and things like that can go a bit too far ahead mm. on itself where you're looking at it from a Buck Rogers, or like you say, yeah. like your Battlestar Galactica Battle levels. Star Galactica. Oh <laughs> you sound old now, but yeah, yeah, I'm saying it's it, and all these things technologically, mm. I just feel like culture owes is owed debt yeah. all the time. Yeah. Isn't it? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, that's what hip hop culture is. Hip hop culture is that that um, catalyst, that enzyme that is you know provoked change, mm. and it's mad how it's like permeated through into like high fashion now mm. because the whole thing originally was reappropriating high fashion mm. and co-opting it into a look that worked on the street mm. you know which was a mad thing I mean when you see the whole Dapper Dan things who would have That's ever Dapper envisaged Dan. Dapper Dan actually working with mm. Gucci mm. years after he explain Dapper Dan because oh, yeah. he's such an interesting oh, yeah. story I mean you know Dapper Dan the, the Harlem legend um, you know a designer who basically took off you know you know basically reams of fabric and textiles that were bootleg but had the Louis Vuitton monogram print all over it or the Gucci or the MCM or whatever and he fashioned 
you know, jackets, trousers, track suits, the whole thing out of that. Mm. Um, back in the 80s, he, you know, drug dealers came to him and they, they patterned it up. You know, Eric B and Ra Kim, the first ones in hip hop that I recall wearing, you know, when you see the Follow the Leader album mm -hmm. cover, mm -hmm. they are wearing Dapper Dan mm -hmm. tracksuits, right? That kind of thing. Then Mad. Ultra Magnetic on Critical Beatdown, you know, they're wearing Dapper Dan and that kind of thing. And that, that pioneering aesthetic, mm -hmm. you know, I'm taking what you're doing, but I'm going to make it better. better. Yeah. And he did it. And, you know, when you see those outfits, you're just like, whoa. Mm. They have got far more steeds than the regular outfits. So the thing is, to fast forward to now, and after him having seats and desists aimed at him from all the brands, and him basically going out of business a and lot that kind of stuff. Well, yeah, yeah, right, exactly. It's funny how things flip up, mm. and he is now working with them because time has caught up, and they've caught up with him. Mm. You know? Yeah, it is interesting because when you look at the mashup culture, mm. which again, do it. It's derivative of the mixtape yeah. and all the kind of extra trimmings that yeah. now you can do with. I mean, big up DJ Yoda. Oh yeah, Beardy Man. Paste, all the yeah. other, everyone yeah. that just cut and paste whatever mm -hmm. their disciplines are. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Dapper Dan and took DJ his. Spinbad as well. All rest in day. peace. Yes, rest in peace. Yeah. Pioneer. Yeah. Rock. Yeah. Um, yeah. Without question, mm. Dapper Dan was the equivocal, but with uh, fa with fashion. That's right. That's right. We've got to shout out Conan and Amir as well because the thing is when they cut up the brights that they did mm -hmm. as well and it's their 25th anniversary this year. Stop it. Yes. Oh, there we go. Perfect yeah. timing. Yeah, Long exactly. Time. Yeah. So, yeah, Conan and Amir, hold that shit down. Yes. Uh, the On Track Mix series. If mm -hmm. you don't know, get to know. Do you know what I mean? Google that yeah. shit. And DJ Muro as well in Japan Ooh, as well. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Man, international global stuff. Indeed. Absolutely. Absolutely. What's your fashion brands at the moment? Just what you what you want. Man, always Polo. Polo mm. since day. Stussy mm. since day. Mm. Um... On the feet, Nike's Adidas, um, New Balance for sure. Puma, if you can get a good pair of Puma. Mm. Um, there's some new brands as well that are emerging, which I like. Uh, I like On Running. I like Hoka. Um, Asics sometimes have a bit of flavor as well. Yeah, they do. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? Salomon's coming into play. Um, I mean, there's a, there's a whole host of uh, a host a host of brands out there. It's very exciting at the moment, really. Mm. Under Armour are doing little bits. I mean, there's, a, there's probably a few that I'm, I'm forgetting. But um, yeah, I mean, for me... You know, my top three go-tos. I mean, the thing is, yeah, Timberlands, Wallabies, Sir Yeah, Clarks. I know, I was about to get into, because I'm into my right. boots at the moment, you see. Mm. What's that Doc Martens. Yeah. Doc What's... Martens have had their, uh, I think, the 60th anniversary of the of the, uh, the 1460, I think it is, the boot. Yeah. I think that was, the, not last year, maybe the year before. I want to talk to you about this. Yeah. But first of all, what's the what's the name of the brand, the Bulldog brand, that they also are akin with? They, they, they're they a, they're a, they're a uh, steel toe cap, uh, leather, Doc Martens-esque boot company. With a British bulldog on it, and I forget the name of them. British bulldog. Yeah, I mean they're Denson, but that's not that's not them. Denson are coming back. Um, there's Pod Footwear. Yeah. Um, there's also so is it Solvair? Is it Solvair who do yeah. the DMs the DM type Sol as well? May I tell you why I come to this mm. because I went into. Uh, this is an open debate, by the way. It's oh, Reebok, by the way. Cannot forget Reebok. I just uh, got sent a pair of Reebok. Pumps all day, man. Yo, you Reebok know me. Pumps. Do you remember when we were yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we used to go yeah. in there. We got dipped up we with the bringbacks. Yeah, those were... You still got them? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, they, you can't walk on them. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, you, you ragged them proper. <laughs> rag. oh, you know me. Wait. I'm just like, yeah, I ain't sitting in the box. I'm wearing Yeah, you're completely like... <laughs> the antithesis to me yeah. and that yeah, regard. Yeah, that's totally. for sure. But we do... Yeah, I wear them, but then, you know, they get boxed. But you and me have a very similar affliction with Reebok. Love them. Um, but Doc Martens, and this is an open debate, um, the shop in Camden, which is the authentic, quote-unquote, Doc Martens. The one by the tube station. Yeah. Yeah. So they have these, the aforementioned, I can't remember the name of, mm. and they have their uh, the DMs. Mm -hmm. £275 for a pair of DMs what? in there. Whoa. Now, their argument is it's British made. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't question that. The likelihood is, is yeah, the, the chain Doc Martens stores, mm -hmm. there's probably a way to go in which they produce a mass market their shoes mm -hmm. 270 quid mm -hmm. equivocal of mm -hmm. I found that to be quite a lot mm, well the thing is when you think about when you have, how much you're going to pay for a pair of Balenciagas you know how much you can pay for a pair of Valentinos how much you're going to pay for any designer shoe mm. they're like six seven LV Louis Vuitton sneakers mm -hmm. they're like starting at a thousand pounds they're not made as well as the Doc Martens. The Doc Martens are handmade in Northampton. Northampton are is the shoe okay. manufacturing capital of the world. 
that is setting the levels. You've got your Trickers, your Grensons, your Lokes, all that kind of stuff. Churches, all Northampton-based brands. No way. Right? Yeah, Sanders shoes, all that, Northampton. Northampton is where you go if you want to get the pinnacle, pinnacle shoe to go with your suit. That's where you're looking at. So you're you not going to Milan. No. You're not going to... To the US. Alden shoes, great. You know, you've got Lob as well. Fantastic this, shoes. This, this, this is just thing fact is, yeah, the, the, yeah. out there. Yeah. Northampton Shoe Museum, you know, the home of boot making. Oh, cook a cat. Yeah. That's why the Northampton Shoe Museum is like uh, ground central for a lot of things in some. And, some and, and, and a good pair of British shoes. It goes a long way, don't it? I can yeah, imagine the regality exactly. of that to a lot yeah, of other countries. Absolutely. Yeah, so yeah. am I wrong in thinking that 275 for a pair of Doc Martins that you used to go run around in school mm -hmm, with? Mm -hmm. Am I am I being a little bit tight? That pocket? was that was um that was a while ago, not that long. Ago. No, no, I'm yeah, we're talking about six seven years ago. My, yeah. uh, but you know, the thing is, serves me when you think about everything goes up, yeah. right? Due to a, a myriad of different, you know, mm. um, you know factors, you know, two seven five. But the thing is, not all of them are two seven five. Which ones were you looking at with two seven five? Well, these ones I mentioned. I, can't, I don't know the name. The Bulldog the, one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't. Mm. There were a few Dot Martins in there which were around the two thirty, two sixty mark. Mm. That blew my mind. Yeah. But it was these ones that I was like, yeah, they're really good. Yeah. I've really liked them. Yeah. And he was like, oh, they're, you know, I guess the best way that he put it, it was that there are sub almost like subsidiary right. sort of. Thing. I can't remember the name of them. Killing me. Mm. I can't remember, but yeah, two seven five. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's a lot. I don't know, man. Maybe it's just me. I do, however, do support the British oh, 100%, you know, yeah. industry. Um, yeah, absolutely. You do, you, do, you, do you love it, Kish? What do you mean? Do you love this love this what? fashion game? I mean, yo, I mean, you got to blame hip-hop, haven't you, really? Do you <laughs> know what I mean? That's what it comes down to. It's uh, making sure you're up on everything and make sure you're flexing and your, your look is patterned up and it's, you know... Where, well, back in the day, we were wearing the latest stuff. Mm -hmm. If it hasn't even come out yet, even better... Because then you you're get the first it. one to get it. Yeah, you're rocking that Just first. like our records as well. Yeah, exactly. Get the first play. Obviously, things have changed now because things are just out and then you got to play them, do you know what mm. I mean? You know, you don't go through that whole thing. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's fascinating. But no, I love it. I love all aspects of the things that we're... We're very blessed to be oh, enjoying yeah. and working within the field of uh, you know, the passions that we love. And I talk about right? it. Yeah, exactly, work. right? We are very right. lucky. So, you know, I mean, yeah, of course, absolutely do love it. You know? I remember seeing MK in New York uh, at the World Dim Season 1999 and I was just completely bowled over by the fact that my guy is like giving me a flyer of Simon Says Farrah Monch mm. with me knowing very little about it. He goes, this is going to be big. Mm. Give me a flyer. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the kind of fast forward up front you want to be the first on. Yep. When you remember the person that gave yeah. you the thing. Yeah. That's mad. Yeah. yeah, you still got the flyer. I might have it somewhere. Yeah, I need that flyer. Mm. Okay. I don't have that flyer. I need that flyer. Simon says flyer. Somewhere in Sussex, I think. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll go down. In the cupboard somewhere. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Good yeah. boy. We actually met on radio show way before, actually way before this, to be fair. Mm. But we frequented a lot in um, in Brighton, mm. at least on a number of occasions, where we, we were, you were, you know, beatbox on this, cows on radio. Yeah, you know, that's, that's right, that's right, yeah. 360 physical days. 360 physical days. In fact, I gave you a first radio shot. I that's do, right, right, you did. Right? Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. Right. Before all this Soho radio stuff, you yes. know what I mean? My guy's you know been doing it for yeah. jump. Yeah. Yeah, you're one of the people that inspire me to do the things that I'm doing oh, because wow. I know how, how door opening mm. and... Uh, Giving is. You've got, you've got to pay things forward. Yeah. You know, for things to progress, progression, you know, the, 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 the description of that word, the descriptive is a forward movement, isn't it? Mm. Progression, mm. you know? So the thing is not regression, right? That's going backwards. It's progression. So the thing is you've got to pay things forward, you mm. know? You've got to, you know, for, for flowers to bloom, mm. you've got to water them. Mm. You've got to water the seed. Mm. Otherwise things is dead. We can't have things go dead because the thing is everything that we have done is in vain then if the mm. story doesn't continue. Mm. It's all about perpetuating the knowledge, perpetuating the talent, mm -hmm. nurturing it, and making sure that they get put on to make the world just a, a more beautiful place. But you're so serving as well. And that's the other thing that inspires me is like, this isn't, this is a, for the bigger thing. Mm. Exactly, 100%. Uh, who have you, 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 you talked with? Who have you who, let, give me, let's, let's mm. fucking, yeah, I'll mm. pick them up later, but fucking throw down. Who have you had on for a chat yeah. on your radio shows over yeah. the years? Oh, man, there's so many, so many good, talented people. 
Um, I mean, even last year, he had this rapper called Can Be You. Mm. And he's dope. He's down with Lord Apex. And, um, but Can Be You, he's dope. He's good. I had Sweeney on. Mm. I love Sweeney, what he's doing. Um, I had H Minor. She's dope. Um, I've had Shady on. I love what she's mm, does. She's awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah what she, how she's doing it and putting the first UK female rap tour together. Things like that. Badass, she's, yeah, yeah oh, it's badass. It really is. Um, but you I mean, say you've, you know, you've also had Bumby, yeah. Rock him. You've had all these. Yeah, I mean, yo, I, yeah, these are people. These, you know, I know all these peeps, but you know, it's all about seeing that new talent emerging and just going, wow. You know, um, there was a ba uh, ba is it Bex Bex in Tokyo? She's dope. Um, trying to remember there's so many there's Natty Wyler there's, there's been so many people mm. over the years that have gone oh Barney Fletcher I love Barney he's just such a dude um, Spotify there's, Spotify there's lot, come on yeah yeah there's yeah. there's a lot of people Jungle Brown yeah um, Children of Zeus Ooh. right I mean I, mm. actually I haven't had Tyler and Connie Con on the show because they live in Manchester and every time they're down it's never on a, that's on a Tuesday that's cruel Yo, you guys got to come down on a yeah, Tuesday yeah man we've got to make that happen because I love those, those dudes I mean, the thing is, we've got we've got a wealth of talent, you know, within this country, um, you know, and it's and it's absolutely brilliant, you know. And I'm sure, yeah. and you know, and no disrespect to anyone, I haven't shouted out because there's so many. But you know, if we did this interview another time, I'd be remember a whole different set of mm. peeps. But the thing is, you know, if anyone wants to know, the All City Show is <laughs> available on Mixcloud. Just tap in the All City Show, and you can get all the previous ones for nearly eight years of that. Eight years, yeah. see. Eight years. What have you Since, been doing uh, for the last yeah, eight yeah, years? Right, hmm? you, know what I'm saying? you know what I'm saying? But every Tuesday, Soho Radio is how it goes down, eight till ten. But wow. I want to shout out the Beats to the Rhyme crew that I came up with in Brighton. And they're the ones that's I got right. put on. That's and right. um, And that's why you got put on. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just a whole, it's not just a, a one person. It's mm. a whole team thing. I don't think we picked yeah. that up on the right, because we do have, do have another podcast from, I think you were one of the first 20 in, in the Wow. And the set so far. So, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. that does exist. I think we, we didn't we didn't get to the Beats of the Rhymes no, no, crew, no, did we? we didn't, we didn't. But, you know, I've got to shout out Cy Kurt and Grant, you know. Um, love those guys yeah. still to this day. And, um, yeah, you know, we were a four man team just doing it and um, taking the name from the Run DMC record. I don't know. It wasn't me that came up with the name. I think it might, you know, it's either Scratchy or Cy, I think, you know. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 See? But, See the um, lineage in this. Tell yeah. me one thing that. Mm. Um, they didn't tell you about being in the radio world that you kind of wish they did. Not in a negative way, but in a good way. It's a bloody What's good question. I don't have an answer for that. Is there anything that you could say to yourself, well, I didn't see that coming. I wish, or I wish I hadn't, or could have been told. I mean, Anything you know. that jumps out that Well, we the thing know. is, back in the day, we were playing everything on final. Yeah. Right? And then things was transitioning on, you mm. know. I mean, CD obviously was there, but, you know, the show was a vinyl-based show. Mm. But then the transition of the MP3... Yeah. yeah, because that didn't exist. Mm. That didn't exist, you know. Uh, mm. Mobile phones with screens that you could actually look at your mate around the other side of the world and talk to and mm -hmm. see and chat, mm -hmm. you know, just like we are right here Mad. together. Which is unthinkable. We didn't even know about that, exactly. Internet radio, though. Well, that's yeah. one thing we didn't um, envisage. No, no. Because, no. like, back then, you were lucky to even have an internet connection, and if you did, it was dial-up at best. Mm. Forget about broadband, because it was prohibitively expensive. It was, So the yeah. thing is... Internet radio is something that we hadn't envisaged, we never considered. Yeah. And also, this platform as a result. Yeah. Podcasts. Yeah. Long form this content, yeah. which is, uh, uh, you know, in a relative TikTok to radio. Yeah, but in a TikTok generation, long form content is a rarity. In depth mm. insight analysis, you know, going into the subject, you know, and just like exploring all the avenues, mm. you know, things are like real, like that at the moment. So, why is it that podcasts and radio is still heralded as a go to? Even for younger people, when the the the, you the need news, a balance. The news will say balance, it's an though. eight second attention yeah, span you, on all you, of us. You need a balance. Oh, right. You need a balance. You can't just be going click, click, click all the time. No. It's like eating McDonald's all the time. Yeah. You're not going to McDonald's all the time. I've yeah. been for a long while, but you know what I'm saying? Fast food, but then you've got to have other types of food like slow cooked food, etc., to balance out your diet. Yeah. Otherwise you're gonna be malnourished mm. or you're gonna be in serious, uh, serious trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? And it's the same with the brain. Mm. You know, you've got to basically feed the brain mm. and it's important to do that. And, uh, you know, and there's many different interfaces mm. you, can, you, know, you can plug in and plug out. Mm. Uh, I mean, the thing is some people can drive and listen to a podcast. You know, some people can go running and listen to a podcast. Yeah. So the thing is, is maybe a podcast is a way to escape the world yeah. by, you know, investigating the world and it's being true. informed by the world, ironically. In the thing that you like, because let's yeah. remind ourselves. Yeah, there exactly. is so or the much thing everything. that you don't know much about true. and that you may, you know, be fascinated about and may come to like. Yeah, it's true. Mm.
Talking of food, mm. yeah, yeah, I don't know how you yeah. keep. I don't know how you keep up with the the, the, the stories, the food, the, the the appreciation of good culinary. Yeah, There's, you love Come it, on, dude. What's the one thing that we get out of life that like gives us so much joy? <laughs> We're the only species on the planet that transforms the raw materials in the manner that we do. Mm. Food being one of them. Mm. Let's go in. You know, some people, some <laughs> chefs make something so beautiful, yeah. you know, in texture, colour and form, mm -hmm. you know, as well as the balance of flavours and aromas and, mm -hmm. you, know, the, you know, the juxtaposition of all that together, you know, that you just look at it and go, you just don't want to eat it because it looks so beautiful. It's so dope. You know? Yeah. yeah. But you love all that, don't you? Yeah. Do you know what, um, my guy, Justin Ip, right? Justin Ip, right. right? He used to buy records off me and Bongos, you know, he's always after the rare vinyl, rare sneakers, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff, yeah? He's the head chef of the Arts Club, Dover Street, right? Stop it. Yeah, and when I see something that he's made, I'm just like, wow. Really? It's beautiful, yeah. There's a real art to that, yeah, isn't Yeah, right, you know? When I see, like, um, Scott Whitaker, who's um, the sous chef at Norma on Charlotte Street, mm. and how he presents stuff, you're just like, whoa. I do Jackson Boxer. I just ate at the Brunswick, at Brunswick House yesterday. It's his restaurant. And the way that they came out with stuff, it was just like, whoa. You know, we just like, it's it's really, it's, it's incredible. So presentation is is part of but it. But what if well. you're really hungry, Kish? You just go in, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? you just never go in. But I always say never eat when you're hungry because you're going to overeat because it takes 20 minutes for your vagus nerve to communicate to your brain and go, yo, it's full of the house. Do you know mm. what I mean? But the thing is, um, yeah, if you're hungry, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. The thing is, I can only fancy all the time. Are you a grazer? Do you like, do you, is it like, you like Grazing's small amounts? Grazing's the natural thing. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, like, you know, if I have a tarly, you're going around, you know, little different curries, et cetera, which yeah. is boom, or tapas. You know, mm. I mean, the thing is, yeah, that sort of, I like to do that more. Yeah. But, you know, it is what it is. You just take each individual sort of thing that you get for what it is. Mm. Sometimes you want to graze. Sometimes, yeah, you just want to go in. Yeah. We, yeah. we often have this analogy on, on the podcast of mm. like how chefs and making music yeah. or making an art piece. There's mm. this s s commonality where you you have to have the raw ingredients, have yeah. the right ingredients, yeah. have the recipe, make sure the recipe's right. right. But yeah. there's, you know... The French, Parisians, they kill it. In fact, a lot of European countries yeah. work with raw ingredients mm -hmm. and kill it. Mm -hmm. um, it's the same with you art. You see my mum in on. the kitchen. Yo, she's just doing a bit of this, bit of that, boom, 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 and just patting stuff up. Yeah. She's like instinctive. Three yeah. hour shift of just yeah. making that yeah, thing work. Yeah, exactly. So and she's then making this crazy it. Indian food, just like boom, like that. It's fantastic. And the notes and the tones and... Yeah. See? Exactly. See, that's where you get your passions yeah, yeah, for yeah. food. Well, of course. Of course, but the thing is, is involving and immersing yourself in all aspects of culture. Mm. That's what it comes down to. Be it the art, mm. be it the music, be it the football, mm. be it skating, mm. whatever you're into. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? The food, the clothes, mm. the kicks, everything. Comics, the whole nine. I just feel like you, absor Kish, you absorb so much street culture, subculture. You, you, you inherently pit people to the post, which is fine because. I don't think you... No, thanks, man. You, you know what I mean? But the thing is, you're the same. You know, we all are. We're all growing... We've all grown up in the era and in that culture where, you know, you just want to discover. Mm. You're just so keen. Mm. You know, your mind Curiosity. is so... Yeah. yeah. Interested... There's a saying, mm. uh, big up um, Akira to Don, interested people are interesting. Yes. It does play true, doesn't it? Right? Very, very true. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, it grows this for a very good podcast that's guest. It, that's it. Do you know what I mean? Um... Records you're feeling right now? Oh, it's a well, it's so, there's so much now. I mean, I always say it. You know, if I was working in a record shop like where I used to work, mm. you know, you would need, and if everything came out on vinyl, you would need a record store the size of an aircraft mm. hanger, at <laughs> minimum, at best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, right? yeah, yeah it's yeah. just like so overwhelming. Mm -hmm. um, there's this rapper, there's this rapper, bam, 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 bam. And it's like whoa, mm. and it's way more intense mm. than it was. But I mean, the people. I mean, I love Nas's new stuff. I do too. Right? Yeah, I'm with it. I'm with it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that guy's the pinnacle. Yeah. And he still is. I'd love to hear Rakim come out with new stuff. Do you know I mean? would love him to I've heard that maybe that Eric B and Rakim are coming back because they've kind of squashed their thing. So maybe that's going to happen. But yeah. who knows? But the thing is, I also heard that LL Cool J's new album is going to be produced by Q-Tip, right? And I heard a snippet of one of the tracks. When it's going to come out, who knows? But if it's going to come out like what I heard, oh my God, the levels are at maximum. It's just like, yo, LL was first out of the gate, what, in 84, mm. right? Okay, so he's going to be like near 40 years in the game or mm. whatever pretty soon in a couple of years. With a, well, so, a ton of albums. Yeah. I might have to hit up Z-Trip about that because he's, you know, he's oh. DJing for LL Cool really? J, 
I did not know this. Yeah. Okay, right, there you go. That's what yeah, that's we need killer. to know about that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the plug but, right um, there. Yeah, right. But I'm, I'm loving what Griselda have been doing. But I've been playing yeah. Griselda for years, I know you even have... when I was on Itch FM. I know you have, so I've yeah. been on Soho Radio now coming up to eight years. How long have they been going, Griselda? <sighs> They're in their late 30s. I know, but they've been going for a minute. Since day. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, yeah. It's funny, isn't it, how... All of a sudden, and they've, re spikes. they've redefined the whole thing about you can only blow up in hip hop if you're young. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, if yeah. you're good, you're getting on. And it's the best. Yeah. I find that, I find it such an interesting case study about them. If you haven't checked out Griselda, check them out. Yeah. Um, yeah, I find but it such I mean, interesting. They're, they're, they're dope, you know, Conway, Westside Gun, mm -hmm. you know, Benny the Butcher, yeah. 38 Special, yeah. and then Chain Noir, Armani Caesar, then the Associates as well, you know, yeah. all floating around, you know, like Ransom and, uh, uh, oh my God, Flea Lord, and all these, all these yeah. other peeps, you know what I mean, are just floating around in, in the yeah. peripheral, and it's just like, wow, and then you've got people like Huss Kingpin and, mm. and Rosewood and Smooth and all these mm. other rappers, and, and then you've got Boldy James, yes. who I love. I love Boldy and James. And when he first came out with Alchemist, you know, yeah. I think it's my first Chemistry set yeah. was the album or yeah. something like that. And, and then he's recently like, done the evidence thing as well. That's right. People and sleeping on that. Yeah, yeah. No, the the evidence, evidence got me on that. Is hard. Oh, no. But there's so much coming out right now. Um, you know, I had a whole new show on Tuesday of brand new stuff. I mean, Two Chains has just dropped a new thing. I love Two Chains, mm. right? And uh, he just dropped a new thing. Uh, Currency has been super prolific. Yeah. My dude, Napoleon. Um, Dynam um, Napoleon the Legend keep saying Napoleon Dynam no <laughs> sorry Napoleon Napoleon the Legend who's like you know um, who's French but he can rap French oh, and no, English that is he's crazy. so good he, he is literally a legend that, he's, yeah, he's that, a self-proclaimed legend yeah he is yeah, yeah. and he bangs everything out so much my dude Saga who's from Red Hook he's just dropped three three joints last year um, you know but as I was saying Currency as well he's been super prolific uh, these I mean, are all there, things there, to me I'm going to so check them out so many things um, one album that I thought was brilliant was uh, Sky Zoo Sky Zoo every time Sky Zoo comes out with something seriously we're talking pinnacle business but dude Rass Beats and Freddie Black they're about to drop something I think it's called Pe uh, Peyote Cookie um, and uh, late nights is what it is. There is no excuse um, for you to be stuck yo, on playlists. Yo, this is some new shit. This is mad, mad stuff. Yeah, all the old playlists on Facebook on the all yeah. all the all city show um, fan page. Yes. You know what I mean, yeah. So you got it all there and the links to Mixcloud. Everything's up there. You know, it's all oh, about promoting. My, also, oh, here as well. I mean, yo, last year. We had Getz's album, Conflict yeah. of Interest. I mean, dude, yeah, right? Dave had a big album. Um, uh, Crikey, D-Double. I mean, yo, yeah, yeah. We, there was a lot of great Take artists. Coke, yeah, the yeah, new yeah. Tape. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, yo, there, there's, there's so much coming out of the UK, which is phenomenal. I mean, Skepta yeah. even finished it off with mm. a great track with, I think, Fumes the Engineer, mm. which is better than anything he's done in, you know, in, in five, five or six years. And... Uh, Cassie's dead. Up. Cassie's dead. He Ugh. came out with two joints. It was so yeah, dope. Oh no, killed it. Right? Seriously, absolutely ill. Maximum levels with that dude. Seriously. I forgot to say, uh, hope uh, all is well with Caselay because I know he's not. Yeah, Caselay's not well. Seen well. has just gone. Uh, yeah. You know, seen the legends. Surgery. Yeah, exactly. So you know, and we had a lot of people passing away last year as well. Mm. Of course, Biz Marquis being the most notable. Rest in, fun, Rest in peace, man. hero of mine. Yeah. Um, do you think? Do you think uh, the the that's the way of the world. Oh, Kango Kid as well. He passed away. Pa he passed away? Yeah, Kango Kid from UTFO. Oh. Wow. Yes, I did know that. Mm. I did know that, mm. yes. This must be quite... These must be quite triggery signals mm. for the likes of Eric B and Rakim. Yo, Humpty Hump. Yeah, I know. Shock G. Yeah. And oh now that is just... Yeah. That's criminally unfair. Right, exactly. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Now you got me thinking of it also because there were a yeah, ton yeah. of people yeah, where no, you just like, ton, can't believe they've gone. There was a ton. There was a ton, do you know what I mean? A um, lot. Did Prince Marky D from the Fat Boys pass away? Yes. Well, gosh, there's another one there. The Fat Boys mm. legendary. Yeah, he did. Yeah. So many legends, but that's how things are playing out right now. And mm. I want I want Dexter and Mr. Spice from Brotherhood to be friends. Oh wow. I want them to be friends. I, I didn't think know they, they weren't friends. No, they're not friends. Oh, and I think gosh. I think now's the time to You gotta you gotta you gotta pull put that you know, put down the hatchets. Yeah. If it hasn't been something like Major League where, you know, someone's done you real, real bad. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, real, real bad, then I think things there are things that are forgivable and people can move on, especially if they're sincere with their yeah. with their sorrow and you know yeah. you know, and, and basically willing to change. Yeah. yeah. Life. And also Farmer and Chester, to yeah. be fair. Yeah. I mean, I know they're friends, but it'd be wicked to have them make music. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Do you know what I mean? They're brothers, man. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It's like, you know, but to get them back together, that would be fantastic. Yeah. Um, I've, got, I've got to shout out Farmer, though, because he's going to do the £10 bag. Man, I've, I'm on the £10 bag. You're on the £10 yeah, bag. Man. Yo, <laughs> yeah. that's what's up. I helped yeah. out Young Gun with the, the, the video shoot. 
Um, Wicked. Yeah, for his track uh, on that. I'm telling you, you man, it's a yeah. big one. Like, uh, I, I threw in a couple of uh, um, IDs and drops okay. from certain people as well. And they, they came through as well. So that's it's what's like, up. Harry Shotter, that's the tune I thought. Oh, Harry Shotter, yo. Harry, when you come back on the show, that's dude. my guy. Yo. We did a track for, that's me and him on the track for really? 10 Bag, yeah. Ooh. Did that together. Yo, the... Harry, uh, Dirty Dugs as well. Let's let's get into okay. the, the Dirty Goods. He's another MC yeah, that, yeah, yeah. very similarly to Harry Shot, it's just so consistent mm-hmm. and on it. Like mm-hmm. Harry, man. I mean, there's Harry. so many there's so many dope rappers out there. Mm-hmm. We want to see some more stuff off. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'd love to see some more stuff from Rodney P. Mm-hmm. You know, I'd love to see some stuff from Rodney P. I'd love uh, Blade to get back out. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Shouts to Blade. And seriously, that'd be wicked. I mean, let's get them all out. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, because you got uh, heroes, man. This is... Yeah, but the thing is, it's not even a, it's not even like yo, just hey, do it. Because the thing is, the talent level the talent level doesn't diminish. Nah. You know, and the whole perspective that these people that we've just mentioned from their years in the game mm. to now and what they can offer yeah, yeah, lyrically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And to hope and with maybe, age and wisdom, exactly. And... You know, and it would inspire a whole new generation. You know, I think that's very important. And big up five twenty one. I know you're going to be going on that show soon. So yeah, big yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, looking forward to that. The podcast game is real. Yeah, exactly. Do yeah. You know what I mean, it's good though. It's good that you get different stories from mm. different perspectives. You know, mm. like similar people, but it's mm. like boom, boom, boom. It's like there's so much to to dig into mm. and, and to get involved with. But you do know? you have that with radio? Like, because obviously it's a different, but it's the same. Mm. It's a similar kind of thing, mm. isn't it? Like, I my, mean, we are the best show. Right, I'm going to put it out there. The All City Talk Show is the best show on, on a Tuesday night <laughs> from 8 till 10. Get that's it. broadcasting out of Soho. Fact. Trust me, trust me, <laughs> There's it's no other true. better show on an 8 to 10 right from Soho. That's you get sure. looked after. Yeah. But I can imagine a very similar to podcasts, there are scenarios like, can't get the guest on time. Mm-hmm. Where is the guest? We're live on air. It's all these kind of delayed yeah. push and pull-ins. And at yeah, the end yeah, of it, you yeah. think to yourself, yeah, we've fucking done it. You've done it. We've you done must it. have that yeah, all the time. Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, the thing is, well, you know what I always say? You, you've got to get here for a certain time. I put a buffer zone in. Ah, the right? old buffer zone. You've got to do the buffer zone <laughs> because the thing is that gives you a little bit of play. Uh, you know, you never say exact time because it's never going to happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's so right. You just that's give right. a bit of a buffer zone and then we're good. Do you know what I mean? These artists are sensitive as fuck. I mean, you know, I was late. I was late for this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, but yeah. we're cool, man. It's like, that's how we roll. Uh, there's some yeah. things that are just written. And it's always mm. a pleasure to have yeah. you on, Kitch, oh, man. man. Blessings. My guy. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Love. Kitch inside the house. Man, and, uh, and congratulations to this man. Do you know what I mean? Because where he's progressed since I first came on to now, it's like, yo. It's like major. Oh, my yeah. brother. Listen, yes. again, huge inspiration. Yo, you know likewise, what I mean? man. We always inspire here. each other, mate. Yes, right. Always yes. here, man. Always here. That's Wicked. it. We're out like that. Killer Killer Podcast. Stay lucky and stay out of trouble. Don't talk to anyone I wouldn't. Peace. Peace. Yeah, it was all right, was it? Yeah, was that all right? Did you get the bits that you wanted to get?